first in Lake Tahoe, live with Emily Turner, where it's been snowing for sure, Emily, huh? It does. Can you tell by what's going on behind me? We have a brief break right now, but let me tell you, it's been snowing on and off all night, and there are some flurries that are just beginning to drop. It's beautiful now, but man, was it a mess earlier today. It's a winter wonderland out the window, but from the streets, it's more of a nightmare. Well, it is pretty to look at, but not too convenient. Overnight, the storm dropped up to 15 inches of snow, and by the time it's finished tonight, that number could double, depending on elevation. Here at lake level, it's a lot wider than it was yesterday, but it's certainly colder, windier, and much wavier than we saw yesterday. Behind this storm is yet another one, set to roll through Friday night. All that white stuff means chain controls on and off on 80, as well as around the lake on 89, and closures on 50. There have been brief breaks in the snow, but CHP says those lulls are not an invitation to head up. If you don't need to come in to town or come up here, if it's non-essential, don't come. You know, people see a break between storms and they think, hey, we can sneak up there. And there might be an issue with traffic and then you get stuck in a storm. That's tough advice to follow for the many who are excited about a weekend of fresh powder and the prospect of new runs opening. We are really excited about this storm. North Star reported 18 inches by lunch and plenty still falling. Our patrol team is actually up on the mountain. I think that they're going to do it as the storms go on throughout the day to check and see what new terrain we can open. And right before we went to air, I was joking with the ski patrol for Heavenly, and they were saying there will likely be a lot of sick calls tomorrow. But heed the warning of CHP. While it will be lighter tomorrow, we'll be snowing on and off. So just weigh your options and make sure that you check the roadways before you hit them tomorrow. Ken? Yeah, it's one thing for the CHP to tell people don't come up, but then, you know, we show them the beautiful mm -hmm. pictures, all that snow. I know from experience that the only thing that shuts those places down is high winds where they have to literally shut down the lifts. We haven't seen that yet, right? No, we haven't. They were really concerned about that. And it was windy, as you saw from that stand up down at lake level. But it really didn't get to the level that they needed to, or I should say the wind speed that they needed to to shut those lifts down. And going into the storms for tomorrow, things should be much calmer as far as the wind is concerned. So if you do take that risk, be careful. But you will have those lifts open, most uh, likely. Yeah, plan ahead for sure. Uh, Emily Turner in North Shore Lake Tahoe. Thank